match reaction. Manchester United nil, Tottenham three. Webber, your reaction to that game? Couldn't be made I, I, I wouldn't be telling a lie. You know, from the from the minute, the minute, first minute, panicking, not no desire, no passion, no nothing. You know, I hate coming on here. The manager's got to go. Simple as that, mate. He don't know his best team. Yeah, don't know his best team. It's he's buys. Uh, the best two players we've had in the last, what, two or three weeks, he drops them both, Ericsson and Ahmad. You know, I've, I can't come in here and defend him anymore. United have got to act like a big club now. Do it now before it's too late, before it snowballs onto somewhere else. you got to look at it there, is that let's act like a proper club. For once, go to a club and say when we're having your manager and we'll pay your compensation instead of getting managers who are out of contracts, out of work and are arsing around and come to this great club. You know, we can't defend him. He wouldn't be here now if he won the FA Cup. But he did with a great performance. But nothing's improved. Well, what do you nothing's think? improved, Kieran. It's absolute crap. We was lucky to win against Fulham. We beat Southampton, who were poor and at the bottom of the league. And was Bobbins putting the ball in the back of the net against Palace. That's our seven points. If Fulham had anything about him, he would have won here. If Southampton puts that penalty away, they could have won the match. And Palace could have won it. We could be here with no points. We could be and we couldn't argue. Players and then I'm sick to death for that Bruno. People coming on social media. Don't get me wrong, he's done some great stuff for the club, but at the moment he's playing bad. And I'm glad he's got a, I'm not glad he's got a red card, but his three matches now gives someone else a chance. And he's got a fight to get back in the team. But the manager's got to go, Ratcliffe, grow some balls or whoever's making the decision and get rid of him. Because it's his players, it's his money. We we've got you know, I look on that today. We've not got an injury crisis. If we had an injury crisis last year and we had no centre half or anything, I'd, I'd try and play on that, but we can't. We've got two full-backs out. That's all we've got out. He doesn't know his best team. Obviously, he doesn't know. If that's his best team he's put out today, yeah, then I'm, exactly I don't know. Where, yeah, he hasn't got a clue, mate. It's time for the, to get his polar nets and go back to Amsterdam because he's not big enough for this football club. I'm sorry. You can't have all that money. We've got proper football people in now. They've got a lot like proper football people and make the right decisions with this club. Because if they don't, it's going to snowball and snowball and snowball. Don't wait to enter the SNL break. Do it now. Get rid of him. Get someone in for the match and look and get a proper manager in. Because I look at that Villa manager there, for example. He's made him into a proper team again. I look at the kid at Chelsea. He's only been there three months. He's made him into a proper team. He's been here two and a half years. And we look as bad as we do from the first day he come in. There you go. You're looking at the players, though. They cross, they cross the white line, though, today, Webber. They've got to take some responsibility. They're not good enough, mate. Who, who are that team would walk into Liverpool's team or City's team or Villa's team or Tottenham? Maybe one. And if you want for the Nana today, it could have been eight or nine. Now, when we're thinking coming in, praise the Nana, making say, Martinez, what is he doing? Delo, what's, what's he doing? Do you honestly believe... What's he doing? Rashford, what are you doing? Zerchi, what are you doing? You're doing absolutely jack shit. Do you want to wait with one play kid and maybe two, but four, five, or six, you goosed against anybody. They could, they, they were about four to five years, Tottenham. I think they felt sorry for us. And even with that, they could have scored six or seven. I'm fucking fuming, mate. Yeah. Do you think another manager would be able to get the best out of these players or more than what Ten Hag's actually showing? Need a Weezy board to get, get a shift out of some of them, mate. They're not bothered. I look at Rashford again today. You know, I. I I want nothing more than a local lad, whether it's Rashford or Manu. What season all season? Colbert, he looks absolutely knackered. You know what I mean? And he was a uh, godsend last year. Come on, listen, he's a, he's a brilliant player, but sometimes you need to bring people out and give them that three or four game rest. You know, what's happened to Ganacho? What's happened to him? You know, six months ago, we're saying he's one of the best wingers in the world. That that Porro Porro, whatever it's called, had him in his pocket. You know what I mean? You've mentioned a lot about strikers as well, Webby, and we've bought two strikers over the last couple of seasons. Young talent, though, what they're saying is potential for the future, but we need strikers to put the ball in the back of the net, Webby. Two minutes in football is a long time. You can't afford to have this potential now. But what we spent on them two, we could have got Addy Kane. Proven goal scoring. I remember him here for three years. When those three years, we'd be a better team scoring more goals. We minus three goals already. It's an absolute disgrace. No, I'm not... A, you know, when a manager comes on the telly now, I turn it off. I'm sick to death of his excuses because yeah. they're feeble excuses. Has he got to change his own tactics, Webby, 
around here at United because we're seeing the same thing week in, week out here. Spurs were wide open as well at times today, but even then we couldn't still create the chances. That's it. I don't think it's Kane. I really... You know what I mean? I don't want to come in here and say, sack the manager at any club because, you know, it's it's a profession, you know what I mean? They don't want... But what, Christ, you can't build, get United up for Tottenham Hotspur or FC Twente. Mm. You know, I'm seeing senior players coming on and say they wanted it more. So what's telling me that the staff are not getting these players up? You know what I mean? Two shocking games and I'll go again. Fulham game was lucky. Southampton scored that penalty. It's a different cup of tea. Palace scored those chances at the end. We could be stood here with no points. Would you not definitely, well, would you not give him the next two games in Europe and in the league to try and turn it round or do you think it's the over, it's the end? I'm fucking dreading poor Owen Villa. I've got a ticket for Villa. The only thing I'm dreading is going in the ground. I'm not boozing at the moment. That could suddenly change at Villa. I had a pint for nine months. That could change. I'm looking forward to seeing my mates who have not seen most of the season. But I'm, I'm dreading going in, in the Villa Park for that one and a half hours, two hours. I'm dreading it. I might not even bother going. I'm going to end it there. Have you got anything more to say there whether it be on today's game or going forward into the future, mate? Give us help. Uh, we need to make it, we need to act like a big club. Do it now. Jim Ratcliffe, if you've got any balls, do it. Or whoever's in charge, grow a pair of balls and do what's right for the club. Because if you don't, it's going to get a lot, lot worse. Yeah, some top remarks there. Straight to the point, Webby, as usual. Thanks for joining us, everyone. And smash that like button. Thank you.